Hi, I'm Daniel from SPLmixing.com and you're watching Mix Rescue. Mix Rescue is divided into three parts. Mix preparation, mixing, and review. For Mix Rescue submissions, send your files and download links to daniel at splmixing.com with the email subject Mix Rescue. Welcome to part two. Previously on Mix Rescue. Today we are prepping the mix real life. I would probably describe it as an indie rock slash pop track. These are now our new overheads with no snare in them. I want all of those little taps. We are now going to take a look at backing vocals. That's better. They're globally in a much better place. So I think I'm going to browserize this, boosterize this. So A, B, C, D, R, vocal split between the verse and the chorus. Let's start pre-routing stuff. The organ and the guitars, they can all go to C bus. All of my effects, D bus, B for bass, drums to B. Everything else looks good. We are good to go for mixing. We are in the mixing phase and we are mixing the track real life. Let's dive in, let's rescue this mix. Okay, how can we make those symbols a little less harsh? Let's figure out what frequency we're dealing with, I guess. <laughs> Why do I torture myself? Aha! I remembered it. All right.
just not sitting right, is it? That's an issue there that I can hear that the gate isn't catching all those kicks. get the snare a little bit of EQ action I think our bass might do the trick It's definitely feeling a lot better. We need to really look into these Tom Toms. Tom hits here. So if I pump that up. We'll do EQ before comp, see if that changes the sound a bit. Oh, I like that. Let's turn that up. Yeah, that's fat. Love that. I'm gonna send those out to the rear bus. Get a massive. Way over the top right now, but once I work on the other instruments, we'll get somewhere. I'm gonna move on to the bass. Our bass on the bass, that's right. Um, probably wanna put that into the rear bus. Probably wanna put the drums into the rear bus while we're at it. Getting a bit hot somewhere down the line, yep. Cool, so let's back off all of these. No, it's still too hot. Got a bit of work to do. I really want to make something of this bass. I feel like it's just lacking something in the recording or in the performance. I'm not entirely sure.
thinking I might take those overheads and just send them out clean. a bit more action out of this base probably try a transex transient designer and I might actually do a bit of widening on the base The BS Man. Not even sure if this will work. So, I've never actually tried this on base. Is there a preset that I can start with? If we can get more growl out of that base, might as well try the devil lock, hey? Oh, sounds like crap. I think we're on the right track with all the rest of the stuff we've got on there. I'm not sold on the widening, so I'm going to try something else on there. I do like the high pass filter that I put in there just to um, contain it only to the top end of the base. So what haven't I tried in a while that I could give a go? Where's micro shift gone? definitely add something so I'm going to keep it. So that's working. Finding these hi-hats, I'm regretting my decision a little bit of removing the snare drum from that. So we need them to pump in time with the snare that's already there. Maybe if we try and send it out to the rear bus and that will really get it pumping. Right, that's how it's sitting in that section. If we do that with the overheads as well. That's starting to feel better. These BVs, I really want to bust them to something instead of the A bus, just so I can affect them as a group before they get to the A bus. So we'll make up our BV master, solo safe that, and we'll send that back out to A. We might even experiment with sending that out to go through the rear bus as well. 
Rear bus is this, it's an unlinked 1176. The controls are linked, but the audio is processed independently on the left and the right. Spring, mono spring. Oh, that's nice. I like what that's doing. It's, it's not what I would expect. Can we add in, let's try some delays. And as a group, let's see if we can compress them a little bit. Just contain them. Love the MV2. Maybe we get a bit of chorusing happening just to thicken them up. Turn all of that off just to confirm our choice. Be a little bit higher on the delay and we'll move on for now. We're just, you know, kind of going round robin, just building up the mix. I've got the lead vocal already running through the compressors. I'm going to turn this EQ back on, which I put on, I think, during mix prep. bit of JJP. Try quarter delay. Sounds so good. Obviously, we use it sparingly. That lifts the pre chorus nicely. That's going to be a delay that works on that first part and the last line, I reckon. Wonder if the spring would also work. Let's try slap, actually. Where is the wide? Got wide base. Oh, yeah, wide there. Let's just work on this double and get that tucked in underneath. We're going to have to compress it quite a lot just to get it up there. Let's try devil lock. We could probably send that to the plate and really spread that one out. We're not actually sending that to the clean bus, so I'm going to send that there. Verse. Vocal's definitely sitting pretty well. I'm happy with that. Try the slap. Slap seems to work on a lot of different things. It's not quite getting there yet. What else we got? Snare verb. These are now really lackluster. We'll make up a guitar bus. Master of all guitars. Let's try. It's hard to go past sometimes. 1176. Let's do that in parallel and I use the percentage sign for denoting parallel tracks as you can see with the 
drums down there. Some effects would definitely be in order. What can we send them to? Probably, let's try the snare verb. try an API for this one. Normal's probably fine. Let's go with a soft knee. Let's get that all the way there. Running into a few issues here. Let's take these vocals back down. I am going to send kick to the rear bus just to really get that compression happening. Also going to send the snare out to the rear bus. The guitars are too loud so what I want to do in actual fact is probably side chain them from the lead vocals so I need to get a compressor set up let's go with say bus 10 just have it squeeze those guitars down every time the vocals come in bus 10 let's get that the lead vocal side chain maybe I'll try it on the parallel the parallel is giving it its thickness so um, in actual fact I'm going to do that I'm going to take that all the way across to the C bus Kick is just too clicky, so let's de-click the kick.
that up. We can get rid of the Corella meter. Not sure I'm getting anywhere with that parallel. Well, we're definitely beating the rough at this stage, but I'm just not happy with the balances. It's just not completely coming together. Stay tuned for the next part of Mix Rescue, and as always, happy mixing. Let us know if you enjoy this series by giving it a like, share the video, and subscribe to SPL Mixing, remembering to ring that notification bell so that you don't miss a future upload.